alternative way of framing that question is why don't we ordinarily recognize that we're dreaming? Most of the dreams, every night we have uh, maybe uh, five dream periods in which we may have several dreams, so maybe we have a dozen opportunities to notice that it's a dream. And most people, most nights, don't notice. And I think the reason for it is we're going to sleep with a mental set to simply uh, check out from the world, be in a state of oblivion, nothing happening, instead of going to sleep with a frame of mind tonight. Something interesting is going to happen. I'm going to be in a dream world, and there I'll have special opportunities really to do the impossible, but I have to know that I'm there at the time. Otherwise, I'll miss the opportunity and live out that dream as if I'm awake doing the things that I do when I'm awake and no more. So it's a matter of sleeping with the right mental set. So sleeping with a prepared mind ready to notice when something odd happens, maybe the reason is that I'm dreaming. And so we don't usually have that mental set. Once people have the mental set and then go to sleep with that, uh, frame of mind, then they become lucid during their periods of rapid eye movement sleep, when their brains are active enough to sustain this full level of, of paradoxically waking consciousness while we're yet asleep. We're asleep in the sense that we're not normally in sensory contact with the external environment. So that's the, the sort of core meaning of sleep. Yet on the inside, and this is as Stephen Lorries was talking about, the two different systems of, of brain uh, uh, representational systems for both in understanding and perception of our environment versus the self, the inner world and the external world. Uh, we can be fully awake to the inner world and while we're fully asleep to the outside world. So that offers us a, a special opportunity uh, for experimenting with our own realities because we can find out what kind of world we uh, would experience if it were all up to us. So there were no external inputs, no other people, no outside circumstances. It's just the world that we construct out of our beliefs and expectations and values and all the levels that structure our experience. And then we find out, of course, it can be uh, informative because it's the world we've created somehow. And so that says something about us. It's a, every artwork has got the artist in it, so unavoidably. Mm -hmm.